Hi helpfuls for today's dinner or what's for dinner is pot roast today is Sunday and I had this cooking all night which I sh I think the older I'm getting I can't really do that I normally don't do that but I can't really do that because the aroma was just like smelling all the way upstairs but anyway this is the pot roast that I showed in my Trader Joe's haul I made sure I linked that above but I was a little worried it looked big and then it shrunk down of course it already comes seasoned so of course I did use a McCormick hearty pot roast and the savory pot roast seasoning packets um, because I cooked it overnight and I probably should have added my vegetables uh, later on and not with it that's why they're like super super brown like my carrots you can't see my celery or anything but anyway once it shrunk down I was like oh lord this is not enough because I didn't make a I didn't purchase a big one but it looked like it was big but it really wasn't not for our size family but as I shredded it it made a ton I mean a whole lot so what I did was this is my plate I did add brown rice just because I have greedy guts in my house so I wanted to try the Trader Joe's brown rice mama said it's really good and so really it didn't put a whole lot on our plate so um, this is like Jason's plate and Jason's or JJ plate whichever one and yeah and so then already added some pepper and stuff I have a new grinder y'all so I did show it in oh yeah haul but I went and got the coarse sea salt and peppercorns from Walmart. So one was like $3.98, I think the sea salt and the peppercorns were like five, five, five ninety eight or something like that. Four ninety eight, something like that. Yeah. Three ninety eight, four ninety eight. <laughs> and then I got the Italian green beans from Food Line. Because I had to make a food line run, which I normally don't go to Food Line unless I'm doing Instacart. But I was looking for, y'all. These are terrible. I don't know how many points they are, but these chocolate juniors, they taste like real cake. They remind me of the cakes that my grandma used to make because she always would make her cakes from scratch. And I had one of these. They only get, you're only four in a pack and they're two for six at Harris Teeter this weekend food line. So um, they were a dollar at Dollar Tree. And all the Dollar Trees don't carry it. Only this Dollar Tree and Carrie had it. So, anyway. These are not everywhere. I think the coconut I see more so at Walmart or whatever. But anyway. Um, that's why I went to. That's why I went to Food Line. And that Food Line didn't have it by my house. I had to go to the Harris Teeter to get it. But anyway. This is what's for dinner. The brown rice. Um, the pot roast. It's really good. So, she was right. The lady a lady a customer told me it was good I also use celery carrots and potatoes I use the little potatoes in the bag that's already pre-washed but of course I washed them again and then that's it y'all so it was super easy I didn't use a ton of other seasonings other than pepper and yeah so that's what's for dinner hi guys sorry the TV's loud um, this is what we're having for dinner we are having the I don't know what kind of burgers they are. I think they're bacon. They're at Aldi. I showed them before. They're bacon and cheddar. The Angus bacon cheddar burgers. Um, JJ had to remind me. Um, let's see. On brioche buns with lettuce, tomato. I got the shredded lettuce. I normally don't do that, but I was like, oh, I was thinking that's a good idea. They did have the option if they wanted pepper jack or cheddar cheese. Or if they wanted both or none, just JJ doesn't want any with steak fries and yeah, lettuce, tomato, onion, and bacon. So that is what's for dinner today. Hi guys, so this is what is for dinner today. And I haven't made this in a long time and it's kind of like two recipes in one. Um, I made my own homemade chili, but I got the recipe from Soulful Tea on youtube so it's so full and the letter t and this is her most recent video that she posted but probably by the time you guys see this she'll have another one up but it was some chili that she made with her hot dogs um she called them a different type of hot dogs almost like a sausage um but i wasn't familiar with 
those at the grocery store so i just use hot dogs and then on pinterest years ago because jj said he don't remember i did like a chili dog you put i'm not sure if you put onions i just tried to go by the picture but i don't remember exactly what the ingredients or if it was any ingredients so really you just make hot dogs you put some chili i don't remember if you put onions or not but i'm gonna put onions on mine jj is the one with no no cheese on it and um yeah so jason already ate one already before he left out but it didn't go in the oven so it makes the bread real toasty which i'm not a fan of but i kind of wanted to do this We'll melt the cheese on the top and then I am going to add coleslaw to mine and then um, onions. So we're also going to have waffle fries. So I eat very little waffle fries. Um, so that is what's for dinner. But you just put cheese on it and you put it in the oven on 350. But I think you're supposed to cover it with foil. But I didn't have any so I watched it. I only put it in there for a couple of minutes. Hello hopeful. So today... I'm going to share this recipe. It's not really a cook with me, but just a talk through of how I make shepherd's pie. I think I had a request for this, and I did not do it. And I just realized when I was cooking this. So it's really simple, y'all. All you're going to do is just get a, well, this is a pound and a half. It might be two pounds. From Aldi, that 80-20 ground B package. I just season it. You're just going to get one pound of that or that one package. It's up to you. It depends on how many people you're serving. Um, I'm going to season it with some black pepper. I use some um, Bada Complete seasoning. And then because I'm using the onion soup mix, I'm not going to use any onion salt or any onion, onion, onion powder or minced onion. What I am or what I did put in here, where is it? It's some garlic powder. So I put that in and that's it. That is all that I put in. So now I'm browning it. I have my onion oven on and I'm trying to cook this quick because I was watching a movie. <laughs> and I'm trying to have this ready by the time Jason gets home. So you can make your own mashed potatoes or you can purchase them if you want. Uh, you can also make real mashed potatoes, which I have thought about because I have some red potatoes over here. But I didn't feel like doing all that. But I know they would have been so good and he loves homemade mashed potatoes. So I'm just going to do the instant potatoes. And then you're going to need some milk and butter water for your potatoes. Some salt probably. Um, normally sometimes, it depends on how I feel. I normally, as a side, I make broccoli. So I should have showed that last. I don't know why I showed that. And y'all, for some reason with this recipe, y'all always forget something. And I forgot to pick up a bag of shredded cheese. So what I had to do was pick up... Oh, gosh. Yeah. I had to pick up... Um, what I did is I looked to see what cheese I have in the refrigerator. And this is probably not enough. I'm tempted to ask Catrell to go to the store, but I'm not going to worry about it. And then this is the main thing I normally always forget to add. is cream of mushroom soup mix. So, not mix, a condensed soup. I always forget this, but this time I forgot the cheese. So, we're going to see how this turns out without the cheese. Um, usually, you're going to get like a pound, you know, one package of 16 ounces of the ground beef. So, let's brown this up. Once I brown it up and it all turns brown, I will drain it. And then in our microwave, you don't have to, but a lot of people do. I forgot to turn it on. You can use some mixed vegetables. I have peas and carrots here. And you're just going to layer it once it's all cooked. So I'll show that. Uh, let's see. Okay, guys, so what I did was I put in two of the pouches of the onion soup mix in here already. And then I put in the cream of mushroom soup mix, as you see here. And I didn't turn it back on, but I, you can. Well, I need to turn it back on, probably on low. And then I put some of the frozen peas and carrots in here. And then I'm just going to mix it around. Turn it on low just for a couple minutes. Yeah, just for a couple minutes. Stir it around. But I'm not really trying to really cook it because it's already cooked. 
and then it will cook in the oven as well and then I'm getting ready to do my potatoes so really simple easy peasy okay y'all now I put my water and I'm just go by the directions of the instant potatoes sometimes I do put a little bit more butter because depending on the brand some brands are not as good as others and um yeah some brands are not good as others I don't know about the um great value I may have gotten it before but I just don't remember I'm sure I have and waiting for this to go get to a boil I put my water in salt and pepper uh, of course the pepper isn't on the you know it's not on the box to say <laughs> so I just add it anyway and then yeah once it gets to a boil I'm sure you all know how to do instant potatoes simple as that then I already greased my pan over there I really grease in the sides because the potatoes can sometimes burn on the sides but um and then when you put it in the oven you want to put it on top of a cookie sheet that's larger because sometimes it'll boil over or bubble over okay guys so I have my mashed potatoes all done and what I wanted to say was on the box recipe I don't make instant a whole lot but on the box the largest serving size is for six so what I did was I tripled that and that made enough so it called for the largest serving size is six servings so I did um, six cups of water and then I just eyeball the salt and the butter and what did it actually say three tablespoons three fourth cups of milk so I just did that times three and then the um, flakes or cup y'all I need to get I need to go to the eye doctor because <laughs> I have to actually pull this box back to look now I really don't need glasses I really don't need glasses that bad but I'm starting to need them bad anyway six cups of flakes so that's what it made all of this so this should cover this entire pan over here sorry y'all it's dark over here entire pan for this mixture I forgot to mention that I did put a cup and a half of water once I put the cream and cream of mushroom condensed soup in here so I did put a cup and a half of water you can go ahead and do two cups of water I think it'll be fine because it'll bubble up excuse Josiah so I'm going to now spread what cheese I do have on top of here Josiah Josiah but normally I have shredded cheese I'll put shredded cheese over this so you can use whatever kind usually I just get sharp but Kobe whatever you have normally I always have cheese but I don't have any so let's see okay guys so let's struggle bus over here I had some pepper jack cheese and I wanted to go ahead and use it up and they probably will taste the difference I don't know but it'll be okay and so I used the shredded cheese that I had left I used the pepper jack cheese that I had left and then I had some block cheese I'm gonna have to go get some more cheese tomorrow now I'm getting ready to just simply put the potatoes on top but again y'all normally you can do block cheese if you want or sliced cheese but normally I have shredded cheese and you just spread it you're gonna spread it on here and you're gonna put it on a cookie sheet that's larger than this pan and you don't have to cover it up and then it's up to you if you want to put like chives on top or something like that when it's done and I have it on an oven of 375 you can put it on 350 depending on how long you're gonna cook it I'm not gonna cook it long And you guys see I put pepper on it. I put some coarse grinded black pepper. I love pepper, so I'm always putting pepper and onions on something. Simple as that. They love it. Um Cottrell was asking me, Mom, what you gonna fix? Because I guess he was hungry after his workout. No, he didn't say mom you gonna fix. She said, um, what did he say? Oh, what we're eating today? Something, something he said. And I said, yeah, I'm about to. Or he said he was about to eat something or make something. I said, no, I'm about to go down here and make some shepherd's pie. He said, a word? Something he said. But usually the only ones that ask if I'm going to cook something are them two youngest ones. 
And I don't know why I decided y'all ask if I'm going to cook something because he never, he ha hardly ever eats. Or he'll pick over what I cook. So that's just about it. I'm going to put it in the oven for probably for 15 minutes on 375. You can put it in longer on 350. I might turn it down to 350. I'll let you guys know if I do. But yeah, usually it'll start bubbling up on the side. Come up through the sides. What am I doing? Okay. This meal has starches, protein, and vegetables in it. So sometimes I don't make anything else with it. But today I'm going to make broccoli. Because they are greedy like that. Okay, guys, so this is dinner. Um, Jason grabbed his plate. <laughs> I had to talk about it. He grabbed his plate, so let me let him eat. And this is what's for dinner, y'all, with some broccoli. Hello, hopeful. So I thought I would pick up the camera and share with you all what we're having for Christmas Eve. Um, just real casual, but I wanted to display the food so that the family can you know come and grab as they go um jason when he comes home something will be ready so he has to work this holiday season but anyway this is in my breakfast nook area and i just clean this area off over here and so we just have some what's this called rotel dip is it called rotel dip mama cheddar cheese rotel dip you know the the rotel dip y'all and then we have the little weenies with barbecue sauce. And then we have a sakatumi cake. And um, someone's already been in it. And we just have some plates over here. These are the, this runner here is just the scarves from the Dollar Tree. And then I had this tree here from Michael's already here. And I just propped this little sign here and then added some like foliage. So the sun is going down. So it's like a lot of shadowing <laughs> over here. And then I just have my one warmer. I have two of these. I got these from Aldi a couple of years ago. And I really like them. Um, we actually decided when we were eating. Sorry about the TV. We were actually eating that we wanted some chicken wings. So they're cooking now. So we're eating leopard lemon pepper wings and then also some meatballs so Cottrell went to the store the advantages of having a driver in the house before they close Walmart closed at 6 today I'm sure you guys know that and um, Christmas Eve and so anyway we have some chicken nuggets up here for Saya so he's already eaten I kept them in the air fry a little bit longer some of them and I'm just using my tear tray that I got from Walmart marked down a couple years ago. I put some foliage up here and then I lined the bottom of it with some wax paper so it's not touching the pan. Um, but I always clean it anyway. And then I put some tortilla chips in there. So that's really simple. I don't think I'm going to pull out the other one to put the meatballs in. I just have that on the stove and then I'm cooking the pep lemon pepper wings right now. So this is what's for dinner on Christmas Eve.